guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, we are rebadging my Toyota Celica GTS Tsunami Edition. Uh, again, I think you guys know a lot about the Tsunami since I've preached it. If you watched on my channel, you know a lot about this car. It's a special car, special body kit from Toyota. It came out just a few years, two years, uh, in the United States. And then I have a Thundercloud. Um, in the United States, it didn't come with a Tsunami badge. So, in Canada, I know it did, and then in other countries where it was leased, maybe in um, Japan, um, it came with this Tsunami badge. Uh, mine didn't come with one, and I've always wanted one, so I wanted a Tsunami badge, so I was able to source some. Uh, if you want one, swing by MitchDray.com. You can put it on your non-Tsunami, I don't really care. Uh, but if you have a Tsunami a version of a Celica GTS in the United States and you want that badge, I have them now. Uh, so swing by MitchDray.com right here and grab one, but I'm going to show you guys how do I install it and then we'll do a nice, you'll see that intro, the uh, cinematic intro, and then uh, just that's pretty much it. It'll be a short, quick video, but I'm finally getting around to actually badging this and I did leave the GTS badge on it, but let's go ahead and look at the So currently, here is my beautiful, look how clean this thing is. It's immaculate. It looks so gorgeous. Uh, Toyota Celica GTS, you guys can see the GTS badge. I got the Apexi exhaust down there, very nice. Um, but it's missing the Tsunami badge, but I have them. So here, we're gonna put it up on the TRD wing is the Tsunami badge. So I have these for sale. Again, swingbymissionary.com if you want them. Uh, it says Celica and then it says Tsunami. And then I think that is the Japanese lettering for it, but it looks perfect, um, very cool. I love it. I think it's gonna look really, really good. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mount it on the back of the car. I did a video a long time ago of me debadging the Toyota badge, so I took the Toyota badge off there and then um, left the GTS because GTS is special and I want to leave that. Here is an example of where the badge goes. You guys see that? So um, I don't know if I can get you to focus. It's just right underneath the GTS badge and I think it aligns perfectly with the S side of the car, so that's what I'm going to do and that's how I'm going to install it. First things first, um, what I like to do with all mine is clean the surface. So I'll use a cleaner um, isopropyl alcohol wipe. Clean that real quick, so let's do that. So we'll go over and uh, I'll get down here close to it. And then let me grab this light here for you guys. Let's see if I can move it, there we go. And then, um, so it's gonna go like right here. So we'll clean it right here and get a nice clean spot. And then of course, I always like to put some heat on it um, after I, uh, after I um, get it clean. I, I like to heat the badge up and heat up the, the paint. Make it a nice clean little surface. So, uh, and then again, um, what I'm gonna do is actually just align it right here on this side. So once I get this like this, I am gonna grab my microfiber again from my website, mystery.com, um, and uh, get that so I have uh, a nice clean surface. Okay, so uh, uh, again, I like to heat it up. Not a heat gun, just like an old air, hair dryer. I like to use this, it works really good. It's small, it's cheap, um, but it does get it warm so it makes it more tacky. Hold on. Ha. There we go. Once you get that done, it's all warmed up. Here's your badge from my website, mystery.com, it comes just like this. Uh, you open it up out of the uh, baggie, and then you'll pull the, ba the badge out. Just like that. Here's the badge. You'll peel it. See this? And you'll just peel that backing. Look at that. Okay. Now, don't drop it, um, but I do recommend getting it warm as well to make it adhesive. So the hardest part always is going to be mounting it, how you want it mounted. And what I saw in that photo is, is that they put it right by the uh, back of the S of the GTS. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just like that. Okay. All right, now I don't want to push on it with my thumb um, because I, I want to use my microfiber. So let me grab a microfiber and then I'll push it on with my microfiber. Okay, just like that. And then uh, we'll push it on with my, a brand new microwave, my microwave microfiber from my website. And it's gonna look awesome. Perfect. That looks amazing. Look at that. 
That looks good. Um, perfect. I like it. It looks so original. That is original. That looks perfect. I love the color of this with the same color as the paint. It almost looks like it's just floating letters with that. Um, that looks really, really good. Um, it is a like a resin material. It is not a metal. It's resin. So if you guys are wondering if it's metal, it's a resin. It'll go on perfectly like this. Uh, very similar to the material made by uh, my uh, for my TRD badges. But if you want a tsunami one and you have a tsunami edition, and it doesn't come with this because you have the American version, but you want it to look perfect like mine. Wow, that is how you do it right there. Just like that, that is how you install a tsunami badge. If you want one, swingbymissionary.com. If you want a microfiber, some LEDs, swingbymissionary.com. Uh, I do have a carbon fiber license plate frame. I don't know if you guys noticed that. So you guys see that? I love it. I think it looks really good. Um, I don't think I have anything else that's really carbon fiber on the car. Uh, so I will be having a dash kit made um, for my dash. I'm excited to show you guys. Uh, I'll install it soon. It'll probably be the next video. We did the LED lights. Turned out amazing. Tsunami badge turned out amazing. And then we're gonna be doing a carbon fiber dash soon. I'll show you guys how to do that in the next video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like. If you want the badge, swingbymissionary.com. Um, if you like Celica content, thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next video.